Hi, welcome. Uh, you join us in our house. Why have we got all this stuff? I don't know. We don't need it, half of it. Do we? No. Anyway, so I hope you're going to watch this. And what about telling them about the blue language? Yeah, but there might be blue. It might not be blue language. I think that's blue There's language. There's usually blue language. Concern. Well, if I get cross, then there might be blue language. <laughs> it's a joy. You know, it's a joy to have that. And so it's, it's something that's kept us together is laughing. Yeah, Definitely. I think that's true, yeah. There's another character, <laughs> Chris, Chris Hutchinson. Hutchinson. You with orange hair, <laughs> painted him with a, a thing, uh, felt, felt tip pen, I think. <laughs> it's not his strawberry it's blonde. Orange. <laughs> it's not. <laughs> we were killing ourselves laughing about, about the name Chris Hutchinson. The fact that it was a first name and a second name. Yes, there it is, orange. Chris, Chris Hutchinson. Hutchinson. <laughs> You, you heard the man Tubbs get undressed. There is. Another I'm sorry, no, he's just pulling faces at me, Steve Pemmers. It looks like something on this morning. And uh, you can't drive, can you, Sam? No, they... I never drive. Did, so does someone push the car? They push it about, yeah. Tomorrow. Like real life. Have a yeah. Zigzag lady. And then. Um... It was like pointing out I can't drive. <laughs> it's a handicap. You... Well, you should. Sure, how old are you now? Just because you, A, hey, you don't have to drive, I don't need to be driven. Oh, no, well, you are driven. I am driven. You yeah. are driven. I don't need to drive. Well, you should learn. I couldn't learn now. I'm too old and yeah. afraid of the world. <laughs> I'm scared. I'd I love am. to see you learning to drive. <laughs> no, you would. <laughs> I can't believe it when the, you can drive, because you don't do it often in my life. No. And when I see you driving, when you I put, drove your, you up to the put your glasses on. You drive, <laughs> yes. you drive about with your glasses I do, on. yeah. Well, I'm short-sighted anyway. But, um, yeah, and so I was going to do Pauline, then, but I used, then I said to Steve, I don't know why you did it. Why did you do it? Why did you steal it from you me? Know, you know, <laughs> you said, I don't want to do this. I think it was too you traumatic. Should, yeah, me. yeah. <laughs> I think your actual quote was, I think you'll do this better than me. Right. I, I, <laughs> I, I may be wrong. <laughs> but I'm pretty sure that was the quote. Something like that. <laughs> and, and it's true. So Chris Hutchinson here is Chris getting a bit worried. Head. Orange head. <laughs> it's Hutchinson. not orange. It is. It's just a lighter. It is thing orange. Through my own. Uh, Steve notes by uh, Steve notes. <laughs> Steve notes. <laughs> Sleeve notes by Steve Pemberton. Um, really interesting and, and characterful sleeve notes on this one. Yeah. Well, so none of those people who, who died, their their families, not question what has happened to them. No. Nope. No. No police investigation. No need. Because they they all were um, apparently on going on holiday. <laughs> <laughs> Rubbish. So you want to take us through this then? All right. <laughs> this is one of the scenes, a bit like when um, Ross makes love to Pauline. In, in <laughs> makes <the> love. <laughs> <laughs> the act of in, love as <laughs> filmed. In uh, in the League of Gentlemen, <laughs> which you write and think is funny, and when you're actually doing it, you feel laid masturbating as a lady. You feel slightly toiled. Uh, I bet you do. Restart that chemistry, if we go back to it between uh, you and Steve in the, in the episode there, it really brings you in and you feel that love. That, obviously, knowing each other for so long, how, how naturally does that just set in with the characters that you've, you wrote? Uh, all acting. <laughs> <laughs> he moves. I don't point Because Reese can't drive, so therefore someone had to shove the car. I... He's very insensitive and blunt. It'd like going out with me. <laughs> Reese said something's going to happen to you on that point. Here I am at the same hotel. Did you drive up to the um, hotel? No. Just by osmosis, eventually, I think it becomes apparent who will probably play which part. And also, it's got to be fair across a series. There's got to be, you know, one where, where I'm playing a bigger part and five where Reese is playing a bigger part. And um, that's the way we've done it. Yeah. <laughs> it's funny because it's true. Yeah, I'm not commenting on it. <laughs> I'm hardly, anyway, series A, I'm not in it. So it's good, it's good, he's finally got... Yeah, 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 yeah. Chris Hutchinson <laughs> has tiles that she imports. Now tell us about Flask, Flask of Beans. Flask of Beans was a, man, was a boy at my school, he used to every morning be, arrive at school with a flask of beans that his mum had prepared, and every day, ritually, the, be, the flask would be broken. Yeah. And he'd still try to eat the beans and pick the glass out. Bits of, of the glass beans. in. Yeah. And as a mark of the hatred for him, the bin from in the school, in the, in the classroom, would be placed on his desk every morning. <laughs> just as a, a marker. It was cruel. 
Who did that? You? I never did it, but I saw it happen every day. It was you. You were the one with the flask of beans, weren't you? <laughs> no, it wasn't me. Did you leave I a could say the name. A and I said to him, what do you want to be when you grow up, Graham? And he said, cardboard box maker. <laughs> <laughs> what? Cardboard box maker. Well, Graham, if you are a cardboard box maker, this is a tribute to you, a flask of beans. And he got expelled in the end for stealing a, a, a PE teacher's watch and hiding it in his underpants. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. <laughs> <laughs> He's he expelled. Expelled. It's harsh, isn't it? Really I think harsh. it was a catalogue of things, including yeah. the beans no. and the bin. They all hated him. The teacher did the bin. <laughs> 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 With sleeve notes by Rishi Smith. Yeah, really good. Uh, interesting. Yeah, sleeve notes. The second best sleeve notes of the whole box, yeah, aren't they? Probably. Really? Yeah, yeah. Who knows? I, I, I don't like doing these because I want to know what, how people have reacted. Well, we need to do follow-ups. And then we should I do a live one where we where follow we, up, where we listen to Reese getting enraged at the, the things people say. <laughs> yes. And and I would like to know where this fits into the rankings of oh, Inside Number Nine don't. episodes, Reese. Where do you think it's going to come? You're going to make me use blue language. <laughs> where, where does this come in numbers one to rankings. forty-seven in the rankings? A Christmas dud. <laughs> I think people might think we are a double act. Yeah. I mean, I, I hate him. I think you're very good in this part. Well, thank you very much. I do too. <laughs> <laughs> OK, now. People think I'm the arrogant cunt. <laughs> We should talk about the ending. Yes. Because there was a whole other scene after where it ends at the moment with, with him, with the police car coming up. Cool. There was a scene where you saw um, Keeley's character with the little daughter and she has a, a play date, friend over. And the door goes, and she goes, oh, darling, we're through here. And you think maybe it's going to be... And in walks Chris Hutchinson. And the horrible cow has left <laughs> her mentally ill husband, parked, and... him, parked him in a mental health facility, <laughs> and moved on with her life. No, he's been arrested. Orange-haired Hutchinson. <laughs> he's been arrested. It's a horrible ending. I'm glad we got rid of it. <laughs> Who's Hutch been arrested? Hutchinson. Hutchinson. No! He shouldn't have been. <laughs> So breaking up a family, <laughs> like the horrible cuckoo in the nest. He is orange cuckoo. But Lucky loves her, and she loves him. <laughs> Cut it out hair like a wig, <laughs> like for Frankie Howard. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> no wonder there's only one scene. Anyway, so, the whole thing got cut. I know. <laughs> but you, you did you what did you find out you did find out so that he had been arrested and he was thinking of he was going to be coming out of prison <laughs> there's um, a lot of things see you cry with last <laughs> oh come on not a side parting i don't think it is look at it of course it is no well where's the parting then it's because it's all swooped of course it's a side part no in my mind that isn't Steve Pemberton actually got me a T-shirt with Theatre Blood, one of the most obscure quotes from Theatre Blood on it, which is quite mad if I think about it now. But Hi, Reese, it's my... Um... Yeah, no, it's strange. Hide your Chinese eyes. <laughs> my not able to drive -ness. <laughs> About 25 years ago, we, one of our promoters, when we were working in Edinburgh for the League of Gentlemen, the assistant, she just said to us, one day, <laughs> I cannot believe we somehow got it in at the end. She just said, I love cheese. <laughs> I really love cheese. And we've been saying this to each other for years. 30 years. So that's why that character is Scottish, so that we could put that line in. I love cheese. <laughs> And not only have Sheila Reid say it, but then have Reese do an impression of her saying it. It's like the it. only reason she's Scottish. Um, it didn't feel right to just squash all the other and scenes up to accommodate the final scene. So yes, yeah. Chris Hutchinson got cut. He got, uh, he got obliterated. So that's, now this is the last we ever see of him. Here he is, Orange.